Hello everyone, this is Natural A2 and welcome to Natural A2 TV. If you want to know how to maintenance your twist out by just doing a simple wash and go, please stay tuned and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for all updates. Okay, so today's so yes. video guys, um, I want to share with you about the poll that I um, did on my community tab, um, I asked many of you whether or not I should go with uh, locks or just keep my hair as is. Now I did tell you I had some struggles with time and everything and locks would be much of a better uh, maintenance for me. It's easier versus me constantly having to wash my hair once a week, retwist, wash, retwist. So according to the post, the poll, and I do want to say thank you guys for put it, giving me your opinion, your input. You guys that recommended that I keep my hair as is basically outweighed those who voted for me to go ahead and go for locks. I do appreciate some of the comments that basically share with me to, you know, do what I feel is best for my hair. You know, life is short and um, I do appreciate those comments. So. You know, based on the poll, I've made a decision. I am going to keep my hair as is for now. I'm not going to lock it. I was very close to getting my hair locked um, some time back. Uh, twice I was going to go ahead and go to the loctician, but because of the poll, I had to really think about some things. So in the meantime, I decided to troubleshoot what I'm going to do to make it easier for myself to take care of my hair without having to wash it, retwist it every week. So what I am going to do, and I've already started this, I am going to twist my hair and leave it twist for at least three weeks and do a wash and go twist maintenance. Now you can look and you'll see my hair are twist well it's not a two strand twist my hair my hair is actually uh, braided and I've had these braids in for almost two weeks I'm just gonna wash it condition it and go and that's it what I'm going to use to wash my hair in these braids or twists three strand twists I'm going to use my soap nut shampoo this is made from soap nuts. It's only soap nuts. This is what I use to wash my hair. And I do have a clarifying um, shampoo when it gets really built up. I use that and that's actually homemade. So this is a clear, this is, I'm sorry. This is my soap nut shampoo. And if you're interested in getting soap nuts, you'll see the description down below a link to get you to the soap nuts to order you some of that. So what I'm gonna do is use this and I'm gonna put this all over my hair, all over. Put a plastic bag on and leave it on for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then from that point, I'm gonna rinse it out in the shower. And this is while I have these twists in my hair. I'm gonna rinse it out in the shower. And then I'm gonna put my conditioner. This is actually a, a leave-in or a wash-out conditioner. I'm not gonna use it as a leave-in. I'm gonna use it basically to wash it out. So I'm gonna be putting this, applying this to my hair while I'm in the shower. And this is it right here. And I'm gonna put some in my hand and I'm just gonna basically take the twist and just kinda go down the strand with the conditioner in my hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put this conditioner all over my hair, put a bag on my hair and let it sit for about five minutes while I'm in the shower, taking a shower, whatnot. And then I'm just gonna rinse it on out. And after that, I'm going to spray my scalp and my hair with my aloe vera uh, spritz, which is aloe vera, ginger water, and a little bit of vinegar, which is excellent for pH balance for your scalp. So I'm gonna do all these things that I'm letting you guys know and I'll show you the aftermath of how my hair looks after. And this is basically a twist out wash and go. But let me just show you the before. Okay, this is my hair before. It is very dry right now. And I usually um, spritz it every morning. 
I'm basically treating it like as if it's it locks, but they're not locks. I'm treating it like locks. The good thing about doing a wash and go twist out maintenance is basically every three weeks or so you can take it out. So I figured, let me try this method first. So in three weeks, I'll take it out, do a clarifying wash and then retwist. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Doing a twist out wash and go will make it easier for me. So I won't have to be trying to do a twist every single week and it'll be a less load on me as far as maintenance is concerned. So again, this is before you guys can see, this is my before. I hope y'all can see the strands. Okay. And they don't look bad. Okay. All right. And I, and I can expect to get some frizz, but I'm not worried about that because when you have locks, you're going to have frizz anyway, as long as I can take it apart, retwist it. And this is very, very low um, maintenance. And, um, and also it will help my hair to continue to grow without, without all the manipulation. I mean, right now my hair is shrunken and you know, it's okay. I'm, I've embraced my shrinkage and I want to tell you guys, if you are tired of your shrinkage, if you do this method, this might help, help it to get a little longer. So I'm going to go ahead and wash and I'll get back to you guys and let you see the aftermath. All right, so I do have um, the soap nut shampoo sitting on my hair and um, I just wanted to show you guys this step. So this is the first step. I ran my um, I ran my twists under the sink in the kitchen and um, just applied the soap nuts all over the water, the soap nut shampoo all over, massaged it and put the bag on. So I'm leaving the bag on for about 25 minutes. I set my timer for 25 minutes. I know I told you guys maybe 10 or 15. It could be between five, 10 minutes. I think the longer you let the soap nuts sit on your hair, the more it can, you know, do the more cleaning job on your scalp. So um, now you might see some water dripping. That's the soap nuts, but I wanted you guys to take a look. Sorry about that. But so yeah, this is, this is it. This has the soap nuts on it. Okay. Yep. This has the soap nuts on my hair. Go ahead and get this back. Actually, I'm going to use a regular bag. So I just wanted you guys to see how it looks. So right now the soap nuts is doing its job to clean my scalp and my hair from any buildup. And like I say, 25 minutes, I'm going to leave, leave this on there. And then I'm going to get in the shower and I'm going to rinse it out. And then I'm going to put my conditioner on it and rinse that out. And then I'll come back and let you guys see how it looks once it's all freshly washed and cleaned. All right. I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. I just washed my hair with the twists in it and that was fairly quick. Um, I just rinsed out the soap nut shampoo, put my conditioner on it, put the bag back on it while I was showering, took the bag off and started to let all that conditioner just come off. And my homemade conditioner leaves a nice little, little residue. And of course I have my old t-shirt that I don't use anymore. So let me, get, let, me let you guys see what I have. And you would think I have dreads, but I don't. And it actually looks pretty good, pretty good. Now what I am going to do guys, I am going to spray my hair with my um, aloe um, spritz. It has a little bit of vinegar in it and some ginger water. And also I need to comb out my ends because I don't want my ends to be um, tangled because I'm sure some dead hairs are going to try to come out because once it dry, if the ends aren't um, coiled properly, the dead hairs that's trying to come out will definitely get um, intertwined with the good hair. And before you know it, you have basically a lock on your ends. Like right here, 
there's some dead hairs that want to come out so I am going to just try to comb the ones that are already on my ends out just with a nice little small comb small tooth comb and that way I won't um, have any trouble in about another two weeks from now trying to take these twists out because they're locked at the ends don't want that don't want them locked at the ends um, so yeah this is this is basically the best thing to do and I'm having a little trouble with this one but that's okay it's it's actually starting to comb out it's just that one there's one little strand here that's um there it is there it is yep this one little one little strand of hair and you probably can't see it but it's one little strand of hair that um oh I still don't know if you can see it or not probably not but if you do see it you know it's there later um in the week I'm probably going to end up putting my kitty wild grow jelly on my scalp but I don't need to do that today I'm just using this um spritz and mind you, this spritz is cold. I got it right out of the refrigerator because I'm going to close my cuticles. Um, there's no need for the cuticles to be opened at this point because I conditioned my hair and I rinsed my hair out with some really nice warm water, like really warm water, not close to room temperature, but pretty warm to open up the cuticles, get the conditioner kind of going down in there as it's coming out, draining down the hair. It's kind of getting into the cuticles at the same time. So now I'm going to seal it just by spraying this cool refrigerated spritz and it's cold and it's just feeling so good on my scalp. Really, really feeling good on my scalp. Oh, man. And that is it guys this is it and then from this point I'm gonna style it the way I had it originally let me see uh, okay I'm gonna make sure I can see myself doing this yeah style it originally the way I had it and voila voila this is it so I am going to be doing uh, wash and go mini twists um, for a few weeks and I'm going to see how long I can go and I will update you guys when I'm ready to retwist. So yeah, and this is it. Let me just take this off so you guys can see. This is it guys. Now it might be just a tad frizzy, but not that bad. Not that bad, guys. So, <laughs> let's clean my face here. So yes, this is it. This is the finished product or the finished result of my wash and go twists. And I think this is gonna really be something that's a little better than me making that final decision to lock my hair you know as my hair is growing and I'm not manipulating it as much by doing wash and go twists once a week with like I say I use my soap nut shampoo which is very mild but it does clean the scalp and then rinse that out condition it with my um, conditioner and seeing that I have these mini twists in here I don't want to do it as a leave-in I'm only doing it as a rinse out you want to if you are going to do a mini um, twist uh, wash and go you want to just use a spritz you know to condition your hair in the end so this is something new that I'm doing to see how well it does for my hair so I hope you guys like this video I'll probably do more detail the next time but this is it guys and um, if you do like the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe again to my channel and let me know how you like the video. I'll keep you guys informed of um, my progression with my hair, just doing wash and go twists and keeping myself from having to do this every week, retwisting, retwisting every week. Now, if this works out well, I can just retwist 
every four weeks and and then that's it just retwist every four weeks all right but until next time guys i'll see you um in in the upcoming video next video so please subscribe to my channel and much love peace to you guys and you take care and i'll see you next time take care and god bless bye